Yeah. Hey everyone, Joe here. Today's Lightroom tutorial is going to be just a little bit different. What I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to show you how to set up tethering from your DSLR over to Lightroom. Which is very helpful so if you're doing like studio portraits and stuff, you can automatically have them sent into Lightroom as you're taking the photos. Now before we begin, uh, if uh, you're going to be relatively close to your computer, you can use the little cable that came with your uh, DSLR, which is normally a lot of people use to transfer photos from your DSLR over to your computer, and if you don't take the SD card out. But you can actually use tethering with that. Uh, for today's little tutorial, we're going to be using the Canon Rebel T3i, which is also the 600D. It's an older camera, but still a goodie camera, and uh, very easy to set up and use. So, what else do we need? Well, if you need a longer cable, for example, if your camera's in the middle of the room and your computer's, you know, a few 15, 20 feet away, I have another uh, cable that you can link down the bottom. I also do recommend some Velcro straps to strap the cable around the legs of your tripod just in case you trip. You don't break it off in the camera, as you can see. So you don't want to break nothing off in anything. So, just to protect your gear and stuff, you know, might order to pick up some little those little Velcro ties to wrap around stuff. But the other part of this tutorial is quite simple. Just simply plug this in into your computer, this into your DSLR. You're good to go. You want to turn on your uh, DSLR. Also, then just start up Lightroom, and the next uh, part of the uh, I show you over here on the computer. Okay, everyone, as soon as I got Lightroom open and your camera all hooked up, let's go up to the top and click on File and go down to Tethered Capture, then over to Start Tethered Capture. Go ahead and click that. Now we have a session name here. We're going to use this as Tutorial Studio Session. Okay. Now you have a name one template you can use here. You can have it as session name, the sequence, start number, put it on zero or one. It's up to you, wherever you want to start at. And see so here an example it says tutorial studio session, tech 003. So not 007 much, 003. But that's because. I had to make sure everything worked before I did the tutorial and the smart thing you can do. Let's go over here to choose our location. Now I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to put this under my external drive where my photography is located and choose that folder right there. Now you can have it add to a collection if you want to. If you really want to, I'm just going to leave it in quick collection and metadata. I think I'm just going to put in here is this is tutorial test. And that's simple it. Uh, you can choose further where you want it to uh, put in your collection stuff at. Uh, let's just see. Let's go ahead and put it in portraits. Just leave it as that. Click OK. Okay, as soon as we've done that, you can see it has detected the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. Okay, it is actually even showing the settings that I have mine currently set. Auto white balance, aperture f2.8, ISO 100. I have choose no development settings. Okay, in case anybody's wondering, I have this one set to aperture priority. Okay. Now, if you need to change anything, you can always click on the little gear over here in the corner and bring all this right back up. Okay. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now, you'll notice this little gray button here. You can actually press this and take a photo. And we should see one pop up here any moment of the side of my head. And there you go. There's the side of my head as we're doing this tutorial. Okay, now in addition to that, you can also turn around and press the regular shutter button on your DSLR. And we can see a funny face of mine pop up any moment. So, that's how simple tethering is. Now, 
If you're a Nikon user, I've been told you have to remove the SD card for your files to transfer correctly. I'm not a Nikon user, so I cannot confirm nor deny that. However, Canon users can rest assured that the files all will be on the SD card as well as both Lightroom now. So, hope everyone liked this tutorial. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you do, have been a big thumbs up. Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you'll take the time to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you and lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.